Okay, here we are in the ground. This is a documentation video which will hopefully explain the conduit farm that I have going on. Um, through my recent experiments I was able to get conduit to reproduce and it's done so in this hole, this environment that I set up specifically. Uh, the conditions are just right for conduit reproduction. Um, and so let me just explain what we have going on. Well, let's start here. This is what was originally here. There was a, a line coming from the power pole and a line for telephone. So this is the telephone coming from the pole, which I've coupled, and I made the sweep come this way. The telephone goes up into the box. It then comes out of the box and down straight into the garage. On the other side of the wall, there's a box, which distributes telephone to wherever the hell I want it to. Well, what I've done is patch it into this line here. This conduit is a direct connection from the garage to the house, that uh, LB on the side of the house, the gray one. That's where that goes. In here, I have eight Cat5 cables and two fiber optic, which I can run any number of communications in between the house and the garage. All day long, I can let them communicate with each other. This one here, this comes from the garage that will be over there it comes from my load center my breaker panel same thing comes down comes out comes through here into this which will be a hole in the ground a manhole it will then tap into this which we have to 90 over and up in this is power going to my current meter in the house. Uh, not meter, my current load center in the house. This will then get removed and coupled down there and will come up into this manhole the same way this does. And will provide power to this, which goes up there to the meter. And that pipe there goes under there and across the driveway. That is my documentation. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, oh, and the propane tank is gone. Check that out. No. Look at that. My yard is opening up. This all of a sudden makes it way easier to grade this. I mean, I had to dance around a propane tank with a 1924 uh, Model T Daco, so that uh, is no longer an issue. So that's really exciting. Two new propane tanks here. I got my new uh, line run, which I didn't have to pay them to do. Goes up in there into the house, comes down, hooks into the tank. This line goes to the garage, through there. I just have it covered so it doesn't get full of water. Um, I don't have any appliance in there to hook up yet. So, uh, so they didn't hook it up. They said, we can't do that. Come on, man, just put a valve. I promise I'll call you when I need to hook something up. Anyway. So now I'm going to take the backhoe and try and backfill some of this without covering up this one pipe, which we're waiting on the power company to shut the power off. This one pipe. So I have to keep this open, but I have to cover everything else over. I especially want to cover up my water pipes. Um, so that's the goal now, to do that. What's going on here? But anyway, I'm going get, to get to it before I run out of light. Bye!